I finally took the time to make a cutaway to try and best explain that popular picture we see in the Honda Common Manual and also in our modern motorcycle technology text that Ed Abdo wrote. This is a fantastic way to showcase what happens behind the scenes when you operate a hydraulic brake system. Let me explain in detail now. Can you see how the corners here are really flat and square here? Yep. So watch what happens when I just move the piston. Do you see the bottom of it pulls over? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's you applying the brake. That means back here is all the brake fluid that's pushing that out. And when you let go of the lever, okay, and you don't have the pressure on there anymore, look what happens. But do you see how the, the seal wants to relax back to that square position? Yep. Awesome, man. I've been trying to showcase this for a long time. As you can see, when you apply pressure, that quad ring bends over, and then when you let off the pressure, it wants to relax back and pull the piston back. Here's the cutoff piece. You can see where I've left this dirty, and we've got this corrosion and crap in here. I'll just pick a little area here. That ring is pretty precisely sized to fit in this square groove all the way around its circumference. If I have uh, corrosion on this, what does it do to the shape of the quad ring? It deforms it. It deforms it, right? Well, if that isn't round against that piston, it's it's already deformed. What's it going to do to the piston? It's going to stop it from returning and possibly even cause seizure if there's no place for it to go backwards and it can only go forwards. Check out some of the other videos in our brake systems playlist on rebuilding brake calipers and master cylinders. As always, keep wrenching.